we know that social media are all over in today's world and increasing rapidly. But it has actually been an open question as to whether social media use translates into real social connection. And so we wanted to do the first large nationally representative study to examine the relationship between social media use and perceived social isolation. We worked with a large uh, survey research company to recruit uh, around 2,000 young adults ages 18 to 30. And we looked at, in this sample, a nationally representative sample, both their social media use in a very detailed manner, as well as their perceived social isolation as measured by the validated promise scale. Interestingly, we found that for every increase in social media use, whether that was in terms of the time or the frequency of use, there was an associated increase in perceived social isolation. We also found that this was a linear increase and that it stayed even when you controlled for all covariates. For example, people who were in the highest quartile of social media use compared with people who were in the lowest quartile of social media use had about three times the likelihood of having perceived social isolation, even controlling for all the covariates. It may be that people who are already socially isolated are turning to social media to try to fill that void. However, if that is the case, the results of this study would suggest that that self-medication is not working so well. On the other hand, it may be that people who use more social media are being exposed to very, very highly curated messages suggesting that everyone else has more connections, um, a better life than I do. And in comparison, people can feel sad and they can feel socially isolated. It may also, as we often see in social science, be a combination of the two. We certainly are not advocating for stopping all social media use. Social media are here to stay and they can be very valuable in today's society. However, I do think that these kind of findings give us pause. They help us understand that just using more social media doesn't necessarily translate directly into better social connectedness. And so I think it will be important for people to assess their own social media use and think about for them, is their social media use truly making their lives better or is it inadvertently detracting from it? I think it will be useful in future research to try to figure out directionality. Um, what came first, um, more social media use, more social isolation, or is it a bit of a combination of the two as we often see in social science. The other thing that I think will be interesting to look at are some nuanced aspects of social media use. What particular types of social media use are associated with better true social connection and what types of social media use are not?